Today we are taking a deep dive into a program called vidIQ. vidIQ is a phenomenal program which helps you understand what people are searching for on YouTube and how to get views for those videos. So let's check it out. In order to get vidIQ, you need to go to their website and sign up. I do have a link if you wanna sign up for it in the description, you can go click on it if you're convinced. So let's break it down. This is the dashboard that you'll get to when you get into the platform. On the left, you have your channel stats. You can break them down into time periods. So it can show you the last week, a month or all time your views subscribers watch time and estimated revenue most of these will be broken down into the tabs that i'll go through but something that it does show is keyword opportunities so these are keywords that people are searching for vidiq and the ai is telling you hey maybe these are keywords that you could go after but then they have the options for competitors which i'll also get into and then also the top search terms for your channel so the actual terms that people are searched for top performing videos in your channel in the last month which is actually really useful to know so let's go to the first tab which is daily ideas I have used this one quite a lot. It's actually given me quite a few ideas. The thing with vidIQ, as you can see, is that it literally pulls titles that people have created for their YouTube videos. So for instance, here are my options. I'm not gonna create a video with the exact same title as this one, but it's a good idea for understanding what people are looking for. So this one says easiest anamorphic looks filters, looks filters, 35 mils, 1.4 lens and red Komodo. That is a short, as you can see from all the hashtags, but maybe there's something on that. So what I'll do is I'll take that idea and then I'll take maybe the 35 F 1.4 lens and red Komodo and I'll search those terms or maybe it's easiest anamorphic looking filter. I'll take some of those ideas and I'll take them not at face value, but what I'll do is I'll take them and I'll put them into the keyword research tab, which we'll get into and that'll help me get video ideas. And then something that they also have is customized ideas. So these are personalized ideas at the bottom and customized ideas are customizable. So you can add a keyword into the section and then it'll pop up some ideas in relation to that section. So the one at the bottom has to do with your channel and your search history. And this one over here, you can put into the section something that's specific that you're looking for. You do have to upgrade to the boost in order to get more than three, but you get three for the platform that I'm on. You also get a free level on vidIQ, which will give you much fewer options. In terms of keywords, it might give you three where the platform that I pay for, it gives you unlimited amounts. For what I use it for, I'm pretty happy with what I have. So if you like any of the ideas that vidIQ gives you, you just click on this button, save, or if you don't like it, dismiss. And once you do that, it'll put them into these two columns here. So saved ideas, dismissed ideas. So keywords would be the main tab that I wanna to get to, but I'm gonna save that just for a little bit later. I wanna show you the competitors tab before we do that. So if you go over to the competitors tab, this is a cool way to track other people, your competitors. They were I never think that YouTube has actual competitors. I feel like it's all creators who are speaking or have a passion for the same thing. You can add some channels here. So let's think of a few ones that I could add. A guy called James Matthews. I'd select him and come down to the bottom here and add him as a competitor. Make sure that I select him. I can see how my channel compares to James's channel. And James has 250 subscribers. I only have two and a half. But we're getting there, people. Um, maybe we can make it a little bit more if you, you know, Hit the button. Thanks. So on the left, we can break down your competitors into how many views you have compared to your competitors, how many subscribers over the last 30 days, 60 days, 12 months. So let's start with views over the last month. And I actually haven't done too badly compared to someone like James, who I highly respect on YouTube. And you can change these tables in order to look different. So currently it's set to total, which would be a bar graph, but you can change it to cumulative, which would be almost like a line graph. James is so much further ahead of me, so it doesn't actually do justice in terms of how this graph looks, but if I zoom out to 12 months, you can kind of get an idea of how this graph can work. So there we go, it breaks down his views compared to my views. So just really interesting to know what other people are doing. And this just helps you as a creator because if you see that somebody is doing really well, all of a sudden their graph shoots up in terms of their views and subscribers, it just alerts you and you can know, hey, so that guy or that girl is doing something that maybe I'm not doing, what can I learn from them? Use this tab, use this part of vidIQ in order to learn, uh, in order for you to do better and not to see it as, oh, my competitors hit that keyword that I'm never gonna get and now I'm just gonna go and eat chocolate and just cry for the next week which I would never do. But 
Use that as an opportunity to learn and say, what is that person doing that I'm not? What can I learn? How can I make my videos better? How, maybe it's their keywords, their thumbnails, whatever it is, go and learn from what they're doing that maybe you're not doing. Then you can break it down also into the, the amount of subscribers that they have, public videos that they put out in the month. It also breaks down their stats into a little bit more details. That's it for competitors. And I think you can add up to five with the current platform that I'm on. So you can just keep adding them and compare them to one another. Then there are two tabs, which I don't have access to because of the platform that I'm on but subscribers on the current level that I have it gives you access to the best times to post knowing my subscribers and when they come onto YouTube this is very helpful because it shows me in graph format as well as table format on which day is the best time to post so if I'm planning to put all my videos out on a Friday putting them out at 3 p.m. is probably not the best move but putting them out first thing in the morning I know that a lot of my subscribers are on at that time so this is really good to know and you can go through the week and remember that this is for your subscribers. This is not when everybody is on YouTube. This is pulling data from people who are watching your videos and who have subscribed to your channels. And then we have an SEO option, which I don't have access to, but um, this goes into some details about SEO and, and tags. And VidIQ also have their Max, which is their coaching videos, their live and community section. They do have a new AI section, which you can use in order to, as you can see here, fix this title. So I just gave it something to work with. Fix this title, how to rotate a video in Premiere Pro. If effortlessly rotate your video in Premiere Pro, step-by-step -step guide. Just very cool, just like extra value that VidIQ I found of always putting out. When I started with this program about maybe two years ago, you basically had options to keywords and I think you had options to competitors, but they're just always putting out value and always putting out things like this. This is why I love VidIQ so much. I mean, this is amazing. It's like chatting to a YouTube guru who's got all this data and information right there and I can just get it in like an instance. So like, like well done vidIQ. But what I do want to get to the most important part and I think the power of vidIQ and what sells it is the keywords tab. So when you click on the keywords tab, this is what you get to. This is your dashboard. You have your top keyword opportunities, which you saw on the main dashboard over here and as well as your top search terms for your channel over there. And then this is something that I potentially could want to actually spend the money to upgrade to boost for, especially for anybody who is creating trend jacking or people who want to jump on trends that are happening in YouTube, this little section here would be a gold mine for you because it tells you this week, this month, today, which are the top rising keywords. And it shows you the volume change and percentage of how many people are searching for these videos. So let's look at the last month, John Pork. I have no idea who John Pork is. Sorry, I might be showing my age. Let me just Google him quick. This could be bad. Okay, he's dead, is he dead? Okay, but this is a perfect example. So there's some news as soon as I search for John Pork and this would be a perfect example of somebody who wants to jump on the trend and you can create a video about all of the drama and the stuff that's happening with John Pork and you can see you're gonna get a lot of interest in those videos. And if you are somebody who jumps on trends and makes trending videos on YouTube, this would be something that I would pay for in order to upgrade to the boost level of vidIQ in order to get access to all of that information because I think it is absolute gold mine. Again, VidIQ didn't have any of this when I first started out. So just more value that they are always adding to the platform. All right, but maybe you are creating videos that have to do with long form searchable keywords. So maybe it's evergreen content. Maybe you have a channel about tutorials on how to make videos like myself. Maybe it's videos on how to fix things around the house or cars or whatever it may be. This I truly believe is the power of vidIQ. So let's do an example. Movie reviews. I have no idea if this is going to work. So first thing about this page is each one of these boxes over here correlates to each one of these tabs up here. The boxes only show you a few examples and the tabs show you a lot more data. So first thing that I'll do is when I look at the overview, probably the most important is this overview for that keyword movie review. So let's say you're somebody and you're thinking about making a channel about reviewing movies, you put it into vidIQ and you can see that there are actually quite a lot of people searching for movie reviews. That term movie review. Views. There's 75,000 people and this number over here is what people are searching on YouTube per month. And then it also tells you that the competition is pretty high and then it gives you an overall score which is really important and this overall score says it's medium. So if you're somebody that's starting out on this channel, I would say that this might be a little bit tough for somebody who's an absolute beginner but it's not impossible and 
I'll show you a few tips and tricks in order to niche down, in order to maybe get some of those views inside of that keyword. But let's break it down. What, what does the search volume mean? Competition, overall score, what are these colors? We have green, orange, and red. In order to do that, I'm gonna click on the next tab, which is related keywords, which will bring up a big table for this keyword. So at the top here, we have the actual keyword that we searched for, which was movie reviews. And then what it's gonna do, because it's a related keyword, it's gonna pull up other keywords that people are searching for around that term. New movie reviews, IGN movie reviews, Brandon's cult movie reviews, Jack Black, all this kind of stuff. It goes into actors, you see Mario movie and a few trends and more or less having to do with movie reviews. That's what you're gonna find on this tab. If you wanna find something that matches the exact term, you'll go to the next tab, which is matching terms. So all of these examples, all of these terms will match the keyword that you put in. So movie reviews will appear in all of these search terms. There's also a questions tab, which would be questions that people are searching for on YouTube. This is helpful for anybody who's creating an educational type, tutorial type channel. This is something that you probably gravitate towards. You would put in your keyword and then it'll pop up a bunch of questions that people are asking around that keyword in order to give you ideas. But let's go back to related keywords. Over here on the left, this is our keyword section. These are the words that people are putting into YouTube's search bar and searching for. And then if we move across, so let's look at movie reviews. Probably the most important tabs would be the, these three. So you've got your search volume tab over here. This shows you how many people per month are searching for that particular term. The competition shows you that it is high competition. If you hover over it, it gives you an actual number. And this overall score number would be what vidIQ would recommend in terms of the amount of search volume to competition ratio. And they would put those together and give you an overall number. And what you can do is you can see if you click on these numbers, you can arrange them from highest to lowest. So if I want to arrange my search volume from highest to lowest, I click on search volume and now it's lowest to highest. I click it again. At this time, we can see that these keywords are being ranked now from highest search volume all the way to lowest. The only problem with that is that most videos they have tons of search volume usually have high competition because there's a lot of people searching for the videos, which means most likely there's a lot of people making content about those videos. So as you can see, they are pretty high off the bat, but straight away as an example, we've looked at movie reviews as our keyword. And if I come down this competition, and I get to this one right here. This would be a good one to go after, right? Why? The keyword is Mario movie review, which at the moment the Mario movie is out. A lot of people talking about it. So you've got high search volume as well as low competition specifically for that keyword. You might have a lot of people searching for a different keyword, which would be Super Mario movie. And there's more people searching for that term. But there are some people searching for the term Mario movie review. And you've got low competition, high volume. This would be something that I would go after. So if you are somebody who's starting a movie review channel and you're deciding what could I go after as my first video, looking at this data, this would be something that I would go after. You have 480,000 people a month looking for a Mario movie review currently and the competition is low. That is the one that I'll go after. Probably what I do first is come to the overall tab and click on it to arrange them from the best overall number to the worst overall number because usually vidIQ does the hard work for you. It tells you that this top one would have the lowest amount of competition to the highest search volume ratio. And again, as you can see there, number one Mario movie review is there. If you're starting out as a YouTube channel, I, I would stay away from high and very high competition just to start out with, unless you have a seriously good strategy and you know that you can hook people, create a good title with good thumbnails that could outclick some people who are making really high production level videos in your niche or for those keywords. I think it's okay to position yourself as a movie review channel, but what I would do is I would niche down very, very quickly in terms of your videos. Maybe you can do something with your movie review videos. Maybe it's something that a lot of people aren't doing. Maybe it's you and your dog, people people like animals. Maybe it's dog and me movie reviews. So you and your dog watch the video and you ask your dog what they think and you dub a voice over the dog. The dog wears sunglasses or I don't know, just, and a hat. I don't know, just something ridiculous, just something different. What is gonna make you stick out on YouTube that other people are already doing? As you can see, you've got high competition. How are you gonna beat that competition? You know that people are looking for the video, but you need a way to beat out that competition. But probably the easiest way to start out is niche down very quickly. And this Mario movie review would be a perfect example of somebody who wants to create a movie review channel. And then what you do is you can go even further than that. Now what you can do is you can click on this keyword, Mario movie review, and I'll click on it, and it's gonna pull it up as my new 
keyword that I'm searching for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on related keywords. This is going to give me, as I've said, other keyword ideas around that keyword that I'm searching for. So the thing that I do is always go to overall and this gives us a few ideas. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll and look for something that's low competition and high search volume. And here's one that we don't have. These two over here, Super Mario Movie Review, Super Mario Bros Movie Review. So these are keywords that people are searching for in the same niche. And let's go further down, Super Mario Review. And what you can do is you can click on these and let's say you want to store them away. So we got our top one over here. I'm going to click on this keyword and we can copy these, key, copy the four keywords and you can export this whole table as a CSV file. So if you want to look at it later, you just click on this one up here, export. It's going to export it as a CSV file, all the information of what I'm just searching online. So that's a great option as well. And you have the option here as you click on them in order to copy the keywords and paste them. Maybe you have a document, a notion file. That's how you can do it over there. As you can see, the power of vidIQ is that there's not people just searching for the word Mario movie review. They're also searching for the term Super Mario movie review, as well as Super Mario Bros movie review, as well as Super Mario review. And these all add up to so you got 33,000, 140,000, 200,000, as well as 400,000. I mean, that's close to what? That's close to 700,000. Because you got to remember that not everybody's going to search the exact same keywords. Some people are going to type it out a little bit differently. Some people have a different way of speaking, understanding. So it's going to look a little bit different. So you need to take advantage of this. And when you make your videos, remember to look at these keywords and have them in mind. So these keywords, these four keywords that I've found, I would make sure that they are in my description in some form or another. So definitely Super Mario Bros movie review would probably be it because I think it encompasses all of these keywords in one. Super, the word super, the word Mario, the word bros, the word movie review, which nails every single thing. So that could potentially be your title. But then what I would do is I would copy this keyword, Super Mario Bros movie review, go back to AI coach and ask it to fix this title, Super Mario Bros movie and in-depth review and analysis. Uh, try again, Super Mario films, a comprehensive critique you can break down that so official. You, you see what I mean? It, it's a little bit better than just the term Super Mario Bros movie review. And then if you make a good thumbnail as well, people will click on it. And then what you could do is you could use this in order to create a bunch of video ideas. So what I would do is I would go down this list and see if there's any other examples of video ideas that you can get. So this is a perfect example right here. So we have our Super Mario movie review. That would be the first video that you do. And now that I've looked through this list, I can see another one right here, Mario movie spoiler. It's got low competition, not as many people searching, but you'll definitely get some hits on this one. And you can actually create a spoiler video, which is a second video in your series about the Mario movie with spoilers because people aren't just looking for a review of the movie. They're looking for very niche down videos inside of the Super Mario Bros movie niche. You do a spoiler video and if you go down here, you can find some more. I think I saw one about 3C films. I don't know what that is, but what I'll do is I'll go and I'll Google it. 3C Films is a YouTube reviewer and he's already done a movie review, which I mean, he seems like somebody that knows what he's doing because he's got tons of people searching for him. But you've got lots of people searching for 3C Films and this is another video idea. He does a review and he does a few things and maybe he comes to a conclusion that you don't agree with. Maybe you could create a video where you come from a different angle and your video is roasting 3C Films Mario review or whatever it is. But what you're doing is you're incorporating your niche, Super Mario, as well as a keyword that people are currently searching for in that same niche and you're jumping on that trend. And that's the power of vidIQ. And it's just a way to get like limitless amount of ideas, but not just ideas that you think that people would be searching for on YouTube. It's a way to get actual analytical data that shows this is what people are actually looking for on YouTube. Here's another one, reaction. Let's see, Mario movie reaction. It's so there are some people looking for the competition is a bit higher. If I come down to the bottom, I can see the trailer reaction. And this is a good example. Maybe trailers is a separate section on your channel and you want to create a shorts channel or a shorts playlist that only has to do with trailers and you react to trailers on your shorts. This is a good example. There are people who are looking for a trailer reaction to the Mario movie and you can jump on that. So just tons of ideas that you can get. There is so much value in this platform, guys. I cannot tell you how much 
value. I use this program like almost on a daily basis. And I would highly, highly recommend that you guys sign up. I do have a link in the description. It is an affiliate link. So if you sign up, I do get a little bit of something from vidIQ, but um, it helps me to grow the channel. The one that I'm currently on is if I go to their website is the pro version starts at $7.50 a month. If you are looking to get really serious, you can upgrade to the boost, which they recommend because you have just so many more options, but you can go through, see what they have for you over there. But for anybody starting out, anybody who wants to create videos and wants to boost their channel in order to get ahead of the game and everybody else who's starting to create YouTube videos and YouTube channels, vidIQ is a must and something that you would have to jump onto. And I hope that this video helped you in some way. I hope that you understood the platform, understand what it does, the power that it, that it has and how it can help you as a content creator and make better videos and make videos that people are actually searching for, as well as videos that'll make you money. I've used this platform in order to find a certain keyword, which has made me like over three, four thousand dollars currently, which is amazing for somebody from South Africa. It's just incredible. I'm so grateful for this program. So sign up with the link in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there any questions about it? I'm more than happy to answer you guys' questions and help you guys out and see you guys get uh, better at making your videos and your, your, your YouTube channel. So that's it. I'll see you guys around. Peace out.